Okay, this is the um, Marconi H. I don't know if it's a 2301 or a 2400, but it's basically an Edison set with a very interesting history. Um, AMCW up on the lower side, band on there with variable selectivity. You've got AF gain, <coughs> a BFO when you're using the CW, aerial trimmer, uh, which is very effective. Got audio filter there for um, CW, that's a bit deaf. A noise limiter, which is very effective. That selects the mega cycles, I'll show you that in a minute. And that's the main tuning dial there. Um, <coughs> that turns on this mum as a speaker here, which is very good. Or you turn it off, I'm listening on that speaker at the back there. That's your on off. Uh, that's the bass control there, maximum or whatever you want there, whatever you want to dial in. That's an IF gain control. That's the RF gain control. That's fine tuning for when you're doing um, the uh, CWR sideband. And then you've got an AGC adjustment here as well, fast, slow, and the setting for SSB, which is kind of quite slow. So that's the layout of the set. And the way this works is it, you've got one mega cycle or one megahertz uh, tuning from one end to the other. So that goes from 0.5 to 1 to 1.5 megs. And if I show you, that's 1.5 to 2 to 2.5. So 1.5 to 2.5 across the front there. So it's uh, pretty good. So let's have a quick listen to the... That's, um, that's Caroline at the minute. You now it's getting quite late in the day. There's a lot of noise coming up on the band here, unfortunately. You can go out to 14k C wide on this set. Good sound quality. It could probably do with an alignment just to get the IF curves correct, to be honest. Let's turn it down. Let's cut. That's Radio 5, the 693 um, link on it. And that's the, the old Radio 4 link, which is now gone in London. Hello, my sisters. I'm just welling up hearing about that machine. What an amazing And that's Radio man. 5 there. And what a worthwhile achievement. It really is. You should go and have a look at it um, just to get the full uh, extent of what there Nav you go. has invented there. And then there's a whole pile of other stuff up the uh, medium wave band here. Excuse me, let's talk about the game tonight. I think that's uh, LBC. So anyway, let's go up to the aerials. Really designed for 40 meters. So I'm going to go up there and see, just see what happens when I tune up. So 1.5, 3.5, 4.5, uh, 5.5. Is there 2.5 there? Oh, it goes from 1.5 to 3.0. Oh, 2.5. Then 4.5. Oh, it reads backwards. That's it. On some of the bands, when the red bands, it reads backwards, and on. Some of the other bands it reads forwards, that's what's going on. Uh, 4.5, 5.5, 6.5. So 6.5 to 7.5, and we're in the 40 meter band there. Now bear in mind, we're on SSB, so let's, uh, let's put it on SSB. No, we're on 14 wide there. Let's reduce the bandwidth. Oh, I, just, sorry, mate. Oh, I just adjusted that there. Oh dear. No, you don't want to be doing that. They don't like it, you know, the neighbours when you start. Some RF gain control's a bit noisy. It just wants a bit of lubrication on it. The set is very, very stable. Very, very stable. You see, this is one of the best British receivers. In fact, one of the best valve receivers probably ever made. They were used by governments and um, 
on board ship and that sort of thing. Running 400 watts into my OCB antenna, two elements pointing in the direction. You've got crystal filters here as well, you heard that. So you can shape it just as you want to. Somebody can count. The top end of 40 meters, often Germans up there. I don't know if there's any broadcast bands up on 40 yet, but on the. Um... Let's have a listen. I don't know which station that is, it could be Radio China. It sounds like it's been You can see it here, it's very good on AM. There's not too much up, it's only about six o'clock in the evening. So there's not too much on the band here yet. We'll be much busier later on. And that's back on the amateur band. Let's have a look up here. No, there's nothing on the band yet up there. Let's have a look at nine notes. Oh, there's something on the BBC there. It's not a good signal. There's such a lot of noise in this location. That's about um, nine and uh, was it nine and a half um, megs? Something like that. But anyway, that's the receiver. It's very, very heavy. It's a very heavy receiver, and it's all valve, of course. But it's a very good, a very high performance receiver. 